Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and quick review of the Square Jellyfish Jelly Flashlight Remote for Android slash iOS smartphones and tablets. It connects using Bluetooth 4.0 and allows you to snap pictures much more easily for selfies. It also includes a flashlight for use uh, that you can attach this into your keychain ring. And so it's a multifunction device that retails for around 35 bucks online through the manufacturer's website and also through um, Amazon.com. So it's a little bit on the pricier side of the spectrum, but it is a pretty cool tool and there it's a a light that's going to flash on once the Bluetooth has been successfully connected. The manufacturer also sells the Jelly remote as opposed to the Jelly flashlight remote, which looks basically the same except uh, it has a few more buttons on it for controlling uh, your music tracks, although it doesn't have a flashlight like this one does, and it retails for about the same price. The packaging here uh, is kind of difficult to get open actually, you have to wrestle with it a little bit, which is, um, you see the seal here. But on the back you have some basic info about uh, compatible devices, it's not going to work with any Windows phones, it's not going to work with Symbian or any other platforms. So wrestling with the sides of the packaging, I've managed to cut it off, and on the inside we have the remote itself, and it looks like there's going to be some kind of guide in here, it shows you how to pair it using Bluetooth with your phone, the battery which can be swapped out, uh, sleep mode which happens after 5 minutes of inactivity, the flashlight, the camera mode, and the warranty. And that's basically it. It uses a AAA battery, it seems like, and this is it. It comes in only this one color, so it's not customizable in that sense, but basically that's it. Zooming in and taking a closer look at the design, it's crafted out of plastic, but it feels pretty well constructed. There's no creaking along the edges, so it feels like it can withstand some usage and the test of time. On the bottom, you have access to a lanyard strap that you can hook onto a keychain ring or um, attach onto uh, maybe your neck or something like that when you're carrying it. On the back, you have access to the AAA battery compartment, which you can swap out once the battery dies. It should last roughly six months or so before you need to swap it out. It, there's a brief instructions on the back as well for pairing and the front features just the flashlight, which is amplified by the chrome accents. There's also controls for taking the photographs. Now, they're pretty tactile, responsive, and risen above the surface, although the keys are a little bit on the small side of the First spec. thing I'm gonna do is pair the Jelly Flashlight remote to my phone. I'm gonna tap on the circular icon here for about five seconds or so, and that should turn on the pairing mode. Afterwards, I'm gonna search for devices down below here. The red light is starting to flash, and I see my remote over there. I'm gonna tap on it and after a few seconds, it should now be paired. Going into the camera app, I can now take images using the remote. It actually is very responsive, so I can tap on it once. It's very quick to take the image, um, and it's compatible with any Android phone as well as any Apple iPhone, which is great. Uh, it focuses the image first before it takes uh, the photograph. So for example, let's wait a few seconds and then snap and you are done. So it's great for taking selfies as well using the front-facing camera. If you have a selfie pole without Bluetooth, this is probably a good option to go with if you want to connect that first before placing it onto the monopod. It's another option that you can use, and overall it's a nice function to have. Now checking out the remote, it's uh, basically activated by tapping on the jellyfish key there, tapping on it once, and you have the flashlight turned on. Now it's not an LED flashlight, so to speak, and using this um, you know, for many hours will definitely diminish the battery life of the remote itself, but it's bright enough for you use under darker environments pretty comfortably. And if you're in the dark but still need to take some images, you can use a flashlight to illuminate your subject and then position your camera accordingly. So that's another use in terms of photography with this particular remote. At the end of the day, the Square Jellyfish Jelly Flashlight Remote is a pretty cool gadget. It's nifty, it allows you to take selfies very easily, and compared to other uh, remotes that I've seen, it's a lot easier to pair with any Android or iOS smartphone. In fact, it's faster. Uh, the compartment, which uses a AAA battery, also ensures that the remote will last for a few months before we need to replace it, as opposed to cell batteries I've seen on competing models. With that being said, at $35, it is a bit more expensive, even though it adds a flashlight uh, functionality. However, I have to say that the quality of this device is top-notch. To learn more information about this remote, be sure to read our full ring review. But this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.